Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is a very nice day. Um, we finally have some sunshine again and it's a really good day for a couple of different reasons. First of all, it's a lovely day because I finally reached 1000 subscribers. Um, so that's really nice. Uh, we had a massive influx of people this week and I reached my goal of getting to a thousand subscribers within a year of working on this channel. So that's really nice. Um, for all the new people here, my name is Lea and I live with my partner Martin and our toddler Puck on our land here in central Portugal. Uh, we've been working on this land for about a year now. Uh, we bought it last June and over the time we've cleared the land and trying to get it in working order again. Today is also a nice day because, um, well since a couple days, we have a new family member, namely a tiny kitten. Um, we named her Marie and then in a couple weeks we're getting another kitten from our friends and you can guess what we're gonna call her. But she's a little bit tiny, um, I think she was a little bit underfed, so I've been on kitten duty and kind of nursing her back to health. Um, this week Martin has also been working on our chicken coop and today's a good day because he finally finished it. Uh, we had lots of rain so we had to work in between the rain. Um, but today he finished it and in today's video I want to show you um, what he did, uh, the different steps that he took to build this chicken coop. It was almost completely free except for some hardware, um, but all the different parts like the roofing and stuff we found for free. We love that. So in, this t in today's video uh, Martin filmed some updates for you guys and you can see the process of what he did to build. Uh, the chicken coop. Uh, we need to finish some doors on the um, on the fence and then next week hopefully we can get some chickens and start getting some eggs from our own farm. I hope you guys enjoy and here's how Martin built this chicken coop. I made uh, from pallets um, the biggest pallet I put as a, as a base for the, for the chicken coop itself and then uh, I found some uh, thick uh, these, yeah, I think those are called gliders underneath one of the pallets, and I use those as as uh, as um, poles, and I stabilized the whole thing and uh, made it made sure that it's like a meter off the ground, so it's harder for predators to get at it. And I believe chickens also like being up high when they go to sleep, um, so that's what we did. And I also found a couple of uh, pieces that will function as walls. Um, that one will be the, the back of the, the, the chicken coop. And then we have uh, two others that will function as the side walls. And they look similar, so I thought that might be nice as side walls. And uh, I'll show you... Uh, oh. What I, what I also did was take one of these blocks, because most of the pellets that I found uh, had blocks underneath instead of gliders. I uh, just diagonally sawed them and um, they become corner pieces and I hopefully they uh, stabilize it good enough uh, until the roof comes on and then it becomes even more stable. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's always fun to build with pellets because you have to figure out what you have, which pellets will uh, work for what thing and um, uh, Little Puck is uh, also a good helper bringing in uh, screws and stuff uh, so I don't have to go and grab them all the time. Okay, uh, talk to you later. So, time for a little update. Um, I put the walls up and Leia helped me with the back wall because uh, it needed to be held up in order for me to get some screws in. Um, and uh, everything worked out the way I wanted it to, except for the back wall bottom pieces, because they didn't meet up correctly as I imagined it beforehand. So I took them off and put them in the corners and uh, that works now. Um, it's almost the way I wanted it to. There's a little bit of a deviation on the top, but that's all right. It's a chicken coop. It doesn't have to be completely in line or anything it can be done a little bit differently uh, the next thing i want to do is put these beams these were these came with one of the uh, roof plates 
uh, on the on the on the pellet there. I don't know what they were for, but they were loose on top, so I just took them. And um, they seem to be nice. They're 115 long uh, in millimeters um, and uh, centimeters, of course. I'm sorry. Uh, and I'm gonna put them here like this. If they want to stay like this. And uh, then we have uh, a huge gap on the, on the top, which is great for ventilation because we need that here. And I might make it a little bit smaller because it's a, a huge triangle, which will be there, but that's okay. Some more headroom for the chickens. And now uh, we can put the roosts up there. And then we'll make the door and the door for the chickens as well as the cleaning door on the front and the nesting boxes, there will be three of them on the side um, and uh, I'll just take one of those planks out and uh, make some roosting boxes and I don't know how to do that uh, or uh, yeah we'll see update later so um, I'm back from lunch um, and uh, before lunch I managed to finish the the, the, the door frame and the roof uh, beam or beam, it's just a plank, and I uh, made these to size. They're 130, and uh, they, therefore they fit perfectly with the uh, roofing that we have that I managed to get for free as well. And um, now I have to put them on and see if they fit, if I can uh, connect them with the planks, or whether I have to get uh, these off cuts and connect those first and then connect those to those. Um, we'll have to see. Uh, as I said before, it's uh, all uh, an experiment and things you have to try as you go. Well, it's later in the afternoon. Uh, the roof is done. Uh, I managed to fit all the broken pieces because it, they're all broken pieces together. So it, it becomes one roof. And um, uh, I had to put extra pieces of wood on the front and on the back because it's, it was wider than uh, the chicken coop, which is actually good because there's a, a little bit of an overhang so the rain doesn't hit the, the sides so much. And um, uh, yeah, well, that's it for today. Um, tomorrow I'm going to focus on the nesting boxes and on the door on the front. And after that's all finished, I'm going to uh, make sure that these gaps are closed on the sides. days later and between all the rain I managed to do some things on the chicken coop so I put a nesting box on there with uh, a door on the back so a book can open it as well as uh, that we didn't have to waterproof the roof uh, that could open uh, I'm gonna make sure that this will open in the end uh, by taking some of these branches off and um, I started on the door. Um, this is just one of those bigger pallets, uh, red pallets cut in half with then the stuff filled in the middle. And it opens all the way so we can clean it. Um, and uh, I made a little door which still needs like a little uh, little door or doorway for the chickens to come out but um, that's something that I can do later I will just make something that can open like this and go down uh, but like I said it has rained a lot in the meantime and uh, I wasn't able to to film everything um, but I hope you can see that things are progressing uh, well it's finally done um, 
I managed, well now of course the sun, the sun is shining and there's no more rain in the, in the forecast, but between all the rain I managed to finish this whole thing. Um, there are a couple of things that uh, are really good about this chicken coop. Uh, for one thing it was completely free, uh, except for all the screws that I used and uh, the metal uh, uh, stuff that I had to put on there, which was not that expensive. But um, we have a chicken coop, so have a look. It's uh, well ventilated because of all the, the holes that remain, but we don't have to deal with any cold weather, especially not in the near future. The main thing is the ventilation. So we got the nesting box opens on the side, like I said before because then uh, a pug may be able to uh, gather the um, eggs every morning, which she will uh, love to do. And uh, there the roof can uh, be uh, like uh, in, in place and keep uh, stay in place and therefore we don't have any issues with rain. And we had a lot of rain last night and it stayed completely dry in here, so that was great. I added some, some roosting bars with some uh, broom sticks that we have to figure out whether they like it. There are too many for the amount of chickens that we will have, but they can choose what they like and then we'll take the other one out. I think two might be enough. Mm -hmm. And then we can close the big door, which is there to clean mostly. And then we have this little latch for the chickens to use and come in and out of the chicken coop. It's like a just a loose bar. It's all the leftover stuff that I had. And uh, it's off the ground uh, so they have more room underneath it to hide from the, the rain or from uh, the sun. And uh, I might add a, a chicken feeder and a watering system underneath. But that's something that we have to figure out later uh, when we have chickens. Um, this is the end result. Yeah. Can you open the door? Yeah. That's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I, for one, am very excited about getting some chickens and some, maybe hopefully soon, some eggs from our own farm. Um, we're going to continue uh, with this the coming week, so I'll take you along for that. For now, this is it, and I hope to see you next week. Bye! <laughs>